guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of Wandering Witch. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alrighty. And you would die, mouse thingy. Don't worry, I'm gonna buy a freaking thing next month, if I can. book. Oh, is it another volume? Or is it still just the same story over again? Oh, no, it's a different one. Okay. Yeah. It is her, though. Well, it looks like we're not getting, you know, um, a dark story today, <laughs> but that's okay. Whether it's dark or it's freaking happy as hell, I mean, it's still damn good show. Underrated show, honestly, because there's not a lot of people, there's a lot of people talking about this, I think a little bit more now because of last week's episode and not only because of the performance of freaking Lynn, but... What all happened in last week's episode? I mean, three and four probably might be the best dark episodes I've ever seen for a show that doesn't seem like it's dark, but it has dark moments. And it makes me wonder if we're going to get more. I would like to see, because I mean, officially as of next week, we'll be on the halfway point of the show, I believe. I believe. I don't know. Maybe. But it just seems like today we're getting a nice, lighthearted, happy episode <laughs> after two weeks of darkness. <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna meet what's her face again. It's a fish? <laughs> hmm? A festival? Twerking for a moment. <laughs> that would have been freaking hilarious. though it should be I mean well yeah because I mean you open the door it's just like that really not doors gates but Well, that's strange. You would think that witches would be okay. Mm -hmm. Seems like it. And are you two students? Oh, 
Yeah, that too, and you are a little suspicious, no offense. Uh, 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 what was that? I mean, you think, like, the, the charm is gonna work? Oh, God. I'm so confused! <laughs> She's so cute. I gotta say, the town kind of looks... Well, not really. Kind of looks, but then also gives me Italy vibes. Not only because it's, like, water right there. And the way how it looks really colorful. <laughs> mm, yeah, because they're not going to take no without an answer. Or really without a fight. <laughs> I mean, if you guys would just explain to her, maybe she would go without leaving. But because you guys were like, okay, you need to go without asking any questions, you know, you're a little suspicious about that. Run. Oh, it is her. So this is where you've been. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's been years, oh my god. It's only been episodes. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> so that's why you left. Pfft, I would have so much to ask her. Right? I, I was expecting that these two were not really going to see each other again until, like, the last episode. I mean, but you are. Look at everything you've accomplished in four going on five episodes, girl. Be proud of yourself. Yeah, watched a girl kill her own father. <laughs> mm. 
Of course. I'm pretty. So then it makes you that look like Fran. That look like Fran. That's her. Just acting really suspicious of it. Mm. So something tells me that the book about her possibly has a chapter or a story on Elena. That is if you're still alive by the time, you know, she's finishing her journey. She She's like 18 now, right? So maybe she won't come home until she's like early or mid-20s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So cute when she's shy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, she don't even have time for love. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, cause friends here. <laughs> you deserve that, honestly. Yeah, clear your mind more, and that too. Uh. 
Oh. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more practice. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about trying to lift the bucket, just the water. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, you try. And that's exactly why you shouldn't try to impress someone, because sometimes you end up making an ass of yourself. <laughs> a poor fish. <laughs> a fish is like, let me out of my misery now, please. pretty yeah that is straight up like not only venice but uh, oh my god there's one other place i can think of i just don't something greece i don't remember the name of it but i've seen pictures of it like so much and i would love to go there oh of course you will really They do it because it's fun and they love it. Mm hmm. the bear <laughs> yeah <laughs> which we know Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to see what you like. She's going to give her a bouquet or something like <laughs> Don't worry, she's coming. She has to be. I mean, what else would it be? 
or maybe an internal like flower like a rose or a lily oh babe mm, you're right but that is a little rude though Cherry blossom? Aww. They literally look like butterflies. That's a cute parting gift. Oh. Oh. Yeah, honestly, because you need to see how much they've grown. This is a good episode. Went by fast though, but good. Wasn't expecting it to go down this way. I mean, as I said, I was not expecting these two to see each other again until like the final episode for some weird shape, way, or form. But now the fact is that they met each other again in episode 5, it makes you wonder how the hell this show is going to end in the final episode and if they might see each other. I love the kids. I mean, this episode gave me a lot of freaking Harry Potter vibes, even though right now, you know, still don't know how to feel about J.K. Rowling and her ish, even though I still love Harry Potter near and dear to my heart. Um, Because literally, you had the girl who looks like freaking Hermione and the blonde who looks like freaking Draco, except... The girl who looks Hermi like Hermione is very shy and she's just so cute. And the guy who looks like Draco isn't an ass. So. <laughs> yeah, but they were all cute. And I hope she gets to see maybe at least some of them or one or two of them again later on in the series. But I'm still wondering with the girl from episode two if we're possibly going to see her again. Because I felt like. There's still something else with her. I mean, we got to see Fran Sensei in this episode. A character that I was not expecting to see again until that final episode for her to officially make an appearance back in Elena's life. But, oh. Th this show is like, I <laughs> know, you're getting it today. So it just makes you wonder what could happen next. Nothing about you? Ah. There's merch of her everywhere, oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really wish the show would give us previews at the end of the episode just to see what could happen next. Because, like, I didn't see the preview for this, like, how last week was. Last week, I stumbled onto it because I think... Um, I think I'm subscribed to the channel that, you know, makes this anime. I'm not 100% sure I'd have to look, but I, I'm so glad I didn't look this up or see the preview for this episode, because if I did, I would have gotten a little too excited. I'm glad that, you know, I was surprised to see her and everything, but this was a really good episode, but like still, I'm glad that these two got to see each other because it has been a couple of episodes slash years since we last saw Fran and like the way... <laughs> Elena was just like upbeat, happy, and smiling and stuff like 
so freaking cute. I mean, there are some people who say that those two do have a relationship outside of the teacher-student thing. I do, I have seen it from episode one, and you kind of get to see it again in this episode, but I still kind of would say I need a little bit more time with them to really say, like, yes, by the end of the day, by the end of the series, by the end of whatever, yes, they are truly a couple, and they do fall in love with each other and stuff. It could just be they have a love feeling for them, but not maybe into the point where it's like, I want you to be my girlfriend or my significant other. It's something maybe that love could be like respect, possibly. But I'm not really 100% sure on that. It's just they, they look really cute together. And the fact that like, you know, Fran Sensei ended up showing her, you know, that gorgeous view of the city. I mean, who shows that to like, unless you want to be in a relationship with them or something. I'm just saying like, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you can't tell me that. But like, yeah, it was a really sweet episode. Went by a little too fast, honestly. But it was good. I just, I loved the like aspect of a school and just her hanging out with her old sensei for an episode and teaching kids and everything. And I hope freaking the, you know, Hermione got good <laughs> with her water skills and science. But it was a cute little episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of Wandering Witch. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode six. Bye, guys.